But it is easy, Glasgow, right, in the current climate of paranoia to make a kind of race-based error. Right? I've done it myself. Uh, I'll tell you how it happened. I haven't been doing this for a few years, and one of the jobs I've been doing is working as a, a kind of arts journalist writing about stuff. And last year, I was really excited because I, I got to interview Ang Lee, the Taiwanese film director, um, about the Incredible Hulk film that he directed. And I was really excited because I've read the Incredible Hulk comics since I was about uh, six years old, and I still read them now. And I will take, to prove that, I will take any question on the Hulk from you now. To prove that. Any what question? colour is he? What colour is he? <laughs> Have you asked me that because you know that's, there's a more complicated answer than you? No. OK, well... <laughs> Bad luck, because he was, uh, he wanted me to say he was green, and everyone would go, aha, that's funny. But actually, for the first uh, six issues of A Sounding Stories, in 96 years, a man nodding there with a T-shirt saying, kill everyone now on it. <laughs> the kind of person who knows these facts. <laughs> um, for the first six issues, he was, of course, great, of course. Um, but because of the dot printing thing, the colours all used to run together, so it kind of a uh, blur. So they made him green after the sixth issue. And it, uh, he's been green twice since then. Um, once in a six-issue miniseries written by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale called Hulk Grey. It's grey in that. Uh, that came out last year before last, available in hardback now. And um, he was also grey in the comic strip between about 1989 and 94 when Peter David was writing it and he made him go in a nutrient bath and that made him great. I've lost you now as well. <laughs> I've beaten you. I've beaten you with your kill everyone. No, you don't claim to be an expert, but you looked at me with a doubtful face as if this is going to get him. But look, I know more about the Hulk than you. And I'm older than you. So... <laughs> that's fine. So, so I was really excited to, to interview Ang Lee about the Hulk. And, um... Because he'd made the film. But when, when I interviewed... I try and make a little joke to put them at ease, you know, so... I rang him up. He was in New York. I was in uh, London. And I said to him, Ang Lee, you have directed the Hulk film. You must be very excited and proud. But don't make me Ang Lee. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't like me when I'm Ang Lee. Then there was a long, embarrassed pause, and then <laughs> Ang Lee said, I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> and I said, I said, Ang Lee, you have... <laughs> you've directed the Hulk film. You must be very excited and proud, but... Um, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> and there was another kind of silence. And then <laughs> Angley said, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? <laughs> and I said, there's no need. It was just a stupid joke. And he went, no, what did you say? And I said, <laughs> I said, Angley. <laughs> You've directed the Hulk film. You must be very excited and proud, but... Um, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And he, he didn't say anything. But I said... I expect loads of people have made that joke to you. And he said no. No one's ever said it before. <laughs> Why did you say it? Why? <laughs> and I said, well, Ang. <laughs> you know the Hulk film? And he went, yeah. <laughs> I said, well, in that, uh, Bruce Banner, he's the Hulk. <laughs> He says, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And your name's 
Ang Lee and you directed it. So I said, um, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Um, because Ang Lee sounds a bit like angry. And Ang Lee said, no, it doesn't. <laughs> And I said, come on, Ang. <laughs> Be fair, Ang Lee does sound a bit like angry. And Ang Lee said, no, it doesn't. Ang Lee is a completely different word to Ang Lee. <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? <laughs> And Ang Lee said, yes, Ang Lee is a completely different word to Ang Lee. And I said, I don't understand what point you're trying to make, Ang Lee. <laughs> what I'm saying, if you listen, is that Ang Lee sounds a bit like Ang Lee. So if you swap them round, people can see there's a slight change. There's some sort of joke there. Ang Lee, what you're saying, is actually the same word as Ang Lee. If you swap those two words round... No one would notice the difference. It wouldn't work. But that's not what you, what you appear to be saying. Is that Ang Lee is a completely different word to Ang Lee. But it isn't. They're the same thing. And I can't understand. It's very simple. The joke I'm making. I can't understand how you've got into this kind of fix. I never, and then he went, oh, I get it. He said, is this a joke about me having a Taiwanese accent? <laughs> and I was mortified. I went, no, it never even occurred to me that you would think that. It's just a simple thing about the words, the syllables, re and Lee. Sounding the same. My own surname is Lee. I've had 36 years of fun with that syllable. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't see why you would begin to think. And he went, no, you're anti-Taiwanese. And I went, I'm not. I don't even know where Taiwan is. I've got no interest in it. <laughs> made it worse, to be honest. Then he got, he got you on. Then he got, a, like, a lawyer on from Universal. And I had to, shouting at me, saying I was anti I had to get my editor on from the paper to stick up for me. We ended up having this kind of four-way argument. It went on for ages, going, you're anti-Taiwanese. She was saying, my editor's going, no, he isn't. There's no history of anti taiwanese at all. And there was, like, this thing, and on an Ang Lee started shouting at me about it. And I went, well, I can't see what your problem is. Why don't you just listen to the joke? It's obvious. Then in the end, he went, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> and I said, you've proved my point, you fucking Taiwanese idiot. <laughs> he said, don't call me that. He got another bloke on. An advisor, I like to get someone else on. The publisher, there's like a six way, two hour debate going on. In the end, we argued for so long that Ang Lee missed his 2.30 dentist appointment. <laughs> That's the time that he goes to the dentist, Glasgow. Don't let him tell you any different. He doesn't even need to write it down. They offer him an appointment card, he rejects it. He says, I'll remember it by thinking about my own pain. <laughs>